All right. Welcome everyone out to fan sessions at the Monarch. This is Kate McLeod. sessions welcome everyone out to this live podcast recording here at the monarch building home to artisans and creators in the heart of ogden's nine rails arts district 
My name is R. Brand, along alongside Todd Obendorfer. We're the Bandy Collective, and this is Van Sessions. I want to thank you to our host, the Monarch Building. You can book your wedding or corporate event here at the Monarch. Mention this podcast for a discount. Also, huge shout out to Utah Brewing, the official beer of Van Sessions. The bar is open and serving Utah. Visit their restaurant on Grant Avenue. And remember, whenever you drink a Utah beer, you're supporting local musicians, local artists, and this program. And thank you to our granting partner, Ogden City Arts. Uh, Kate, it is a pleasure and an honor to have you on Van Sessions. So thanks for being here this evening. Oh, my pleasure. So much fun. What was that first song? That was a song called Sometimes a Sound. I Love You is Sometimes a Sound. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is fantastic. Um, what, can you define, like, because I looked on your website, it said neo-traditional music. So what does that mean for us who don't know, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of like a, a back east Appalachian kind of term there okay. because I'm from the east originally. And neo-traditional means uh, new music that's inspired by old music, by traditional music. And that's sort of what I do in a nutshell. Yeah, that makes sense. And how long have you been playing music? Oh, way too long. Do you, me- <laughs> do you remember when you picked up your first guitar or piano? I do. Or, okay. I begged to play my fiddle, my violin. Fiddle yeah. was my first instrument, and I begged to play it as a child. I don't know what possessed me. They call that the devil's instrument, you know, so I don't know what got into me, but I asked to play it. I've been playing it ever since and uh, picked up the guitar when I started writing songs as a teenager, and I'm still doing it. Yeah, and you you teach songwriting. I so, do. I teach teach wor- workshops and all kinds of things. And, yeah, uh, yeah, violin. So if you want to learn to play the violin, fiddle, or or songwrite, how do they just go to your website? I guess. Yep, katemcleod.com. Yeah. What? How do you write your songs? Do you have a method, like a proven method, or do you just uh, every time is different? Well, they're all a little different. Some of them come to me in dreams, and I wake up and I write them down, and then I go back to sleep. And some of them are collected from things people tell me, stories, books I read. Yeah. It's, been, it's gotten me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> all right, tell us about this next song. This next song I wrote on a river trip on the Green River. I do one every year with the company. And I'm, I do music every night, and I write a song every day on the river, and this is written on the Green River. It's called Compañeros on the Rio. In the sandstone, we 
we see a heron and a cowboy in the canyons of desolation we bathe in the waters of the Rio Verde and if we had once been strangers in a world full of danger in our world full of wonder we rise No longer strangers by the end of the green. No longer strangers by the end of the green. No longer strangers by the end of the green. Kate McLeod on Van Sessions. So on. What do you raft that? What do you do, Kate? Yeah, we raft it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Usually with oared boats. It's a lot of fun. We do a different part of the river every year. I've done the Grand Canyon. I've done the Cataract Canyon, Desolation Canyon. And then we just you know, repeat, go back to them all the time. <laughs> so uh, sometimes it's a four-day trip. Sometimes, you know, the Grand Canyon can be a couple of weeks. So That sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's really fun. Music all the time. I've written so many songs now. Every day on the river I write a song. And I guess they'll keep hiring me as long as I can do that. <laughs> well, well, yeah, and I guess, you know, that's a, a, a great place to be inspired too. You know, it's not your living room. Yeah. You're out on the water in, in southern Utah or Colorado. It's, it's fantastic. So, yeah, it is. It yeah. is. Uh, well, you had a few awards. Uh, awarded the Best of the West by Far West Division of Folk Alliance International and the 2019 Sound Award from uh, was it Alfred Lambuma. Friends of the Great Salt Lake for Violin Duet of the Great Salt yep. Lake visited. So yep. congratulations on those. Thank you. What do those awards mean to you in comparison to, like, say, the applause from a captive audience? Oh, my gosh. Well, my managers have always liked those awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really like the applause. <laughs> so, yeah, it goes both ways. There you go. Yeah. Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Uh, take, take us into another song, and then when we come back, we'll talk about Uranium Maiden. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, sing a song now uh, that I wrote a few years ago. I was an uh, artist in resident uh, for a, an organization. I was back near Philadelphia, and I was housed in a house with a bunch of 18-year-old people, and I'm no longer 18, so <laughs> it was a lot of fun. They didn't even notice me. I was just kind of making coffee and <laughs> taking notes, and uh, I took notes on all the stuff they talked about, and I put them in this song called Don't Lose Your Faith. Love it. Here we go, you guys. Sometimes people don't love the same way I love their lives. They go through changes.
sessions okay so I, I was you know doing some research on uranium maiden project Do you want to tell everyone here what that's all about my uranium maiden project is a collection of music about our lovely state of Utah and so many things about it there are river running songs on it and there are songs about historic characters and there are fiddle tunes and violin pieces and it's a two CD set Although no, there are no CDs anymore, but there are some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's a it's a very long set of music, and uh, you can find it on Spotify and all the regular places. So the Uranium Maiden, I, I had a dream about that title, and so that's what I named my album. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of flows. I love the name of it. Yeah. Uh, and then you recently started a Patreon and did a really good job on that video. The video is great. So Thank shout you. out to the Patreon information there. Thank you. Um, yeah, Kate McLeod yeah. on Patreon, I guess, right? Yep, Patreon's a, a lifesaver these days with the loss of merchandise sales. Sure. Speaking of CDs <laughs> that we don't have anymore. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, patreon.com. Look me up on there. Help me out. <laughs> we have a good time on it. I share all kinds of new music and pre release things, and I send artwork to you or whatever you want. So Very cool, very cool. All right, take us out. One last song. All right, so we're going to do a, an old song of mine. This is called Road to Heaven. It's on my Blooming CD, and uh, I recorded this in Nashville, produced by Tim O'Brien, and the band, uh, the band members, after they recorded this album with me, they all went on the road with Robert Plant, so awesome. I kind of yeah. joke that Robert Plant stole my backup band. <laughs> so, Road to Heaven, and thank you all for having us on. We got Mark Hazel over here. We got Bob Smith, and they've been playing with me for a long time. So here we go, Road to Heaven.
So good. Hey, McLeod on Van Sessions. Thanks for being here during this live recording of Van Sessions. You can find all Van Sessions podcasts by simply searching Van Sessions podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Thanks again to our host, the Monarch Building, the official beer of Van Sessions, Utah Brewing, and to our granting sponsor, Ogden City Arts. We'll see you on the next Van Sessions. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.